Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Progressive Overload Podcast. Have you ever thought about strengthening multiple areas of your life at the same time? Then you've come to the right place. Our goal is to help you identify ways that you might need a progressive overload to push past those plateaus and keep you growing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Progressive Overload Podcast. I'm Adam Lazarine, and I'm joined today by Joe Copeland. What's up? Dustin Moore. Yo. Hey, guys. Um, we're so glad that you are here with us today. We want to give you an opportunity to get to know us. And so as we do that, I want to just kick it around the table and let you guys explain who you are, a little bit about yourself maybe, and then we'll jump right in. Yeah, sweet. So uh, I'm Joe Copeland, and I am a fitness professional, um, a strength and conditioning specialist by trade. And so uh, this that's why I, I, I wanted to start this podcast, because I'm uh, super passionate about fitness, uh, but also have... have uh, um, have always been in some in a ministry of some sort, and so just uh, merging those two worlds of mine, or uh, I thought would be a lot of fun. And and these two guys that we're with is are perfect. Uh, um, Thank you, co-hosts. Yeah, I know. Appreciate and so, <laughs> what we wanted to do with this first episode is just kind of explain one who we are, but also what a progressive overload is. And also just a little bit of sneak peek of why we wanted to start this podcast. Um, so I'm going to start off with just the definition of a progressive overload. This is a strength and conditioning concept that suggests that a continual increase in a total workload during a training program will stimulate muscle growth and strength gains. And so when we were trying to think of a name for this podcast, um, we wanted something that was going to... Uh, um, pop. Yeah, pop. Yeah, pop. P-O-P. I love it. Um, but merge the fitness and, and, and our walk with Christ into kind of one concept. And so <clears throat> that's kind of where we got it. Cause, um, whenever we're wanting to improve our walk with Christ in some way, the best way to do that, to make it last over time is to make slow, consistent, small increases of, uh, and changes. And so, um, that's kind of where we're at. Um, sweet. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, let me just jump in since I'm talking. My name is Adam Lazarine, and um, I have a background in sports medicine. Um, technically, if you look on the wall in my office, I should be on the sideline of a team doing sports medicine. Yep. Um, and so um, I used to uh, I used to work in that field, and so I have a little bit of knowledge about how the body works, and I'm ex excited to share that mm -hmm. with our listeners and help you guys and help myself as well. Uh, I also have a degree from Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. I am a pastor, and I look forward to sharing that knowledge as well. Um, just because I have the title of a pastor doesn't make me any better or worse at, at Scripture than anyone else. Yeah. But um, I think that it is something that I can use, uh, not the title, but the degree that I have to in, enlighten people a little bit with yeah. some some things that we may have not have thought about all the time. For we sure. want to make sure any time mm -hmm. that we look at Scripture— in this podcast or talk about the Bible, we want to take it in its context. We want to take it in its fullness and uh, relate it to our journeys and relate it to fitness whenever yeah. we can. And uh, that's what you're talking about, about merging these two worlds. Mm -hmm. Dustin, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name is Dustin Moore, and I'm just excited to be here. Unlike these two, I do not have any kind of professional background in sports medicine and or strength and conditioning uh, that this whole world is kind of new to me as yeah. of really the last year mm -hmm. uh, when I first met Joe and started working out at the same time as Adam and uh, just got to fellowship with these guys being in the gym and uh, trying to push myself to progress yeah. uh, in my own journey. Uh, as for my background, I graduated from Liberty University with a bachelor's in religion and so i'm a youth pastor by trade that is what i do i'm the guy who wrangles students uh as scary as that can be sometimes sure. and uh yeah it's that's that's me that's pretty much my story sweet man we're so excited to have have you especially also adam but i love that that you're so new to this and i don't mean that in a bad way at all your perspective is is so fresh and and I, I've told you this before, I, I love watching you experience a lot of these things for the first time, because yeah. I've, I've been in this world for so long. I've been on highs, I've been on lows, I've gained weight, I've lost weight, I've seen, I've helped people gain weight and lose weight, and you've kind of reignited this passion within me to uh, to really just push myself again, you know? I got stagnant for a long time, yeah. and, and you've kind of helped me reignite that flame, and so uh, that's why I'm, I'm super excited to have 
your input because you're going to be hearing a lot of this information um, maybe for the first time or it's still new to you. So you're going to have questions and you can mm-hmm. ask me questions and it's just going to be a really good dynamic. Um, and and uh, so this podcast uh, kind of to me kind of has a, a theme verse. And then um, and so that's first Corinthians six nineteen. Um don't you realize that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? Mm. You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. And so Adam just said the, the thing about taking verses out of context. I was talking with him. He said, yes, this, this specific verse is talking to the Church of Corinth specifically about sexual sin. And right. so, um, but don't you think it, it can kind of relate to how we treat our bodies on earth? I do. I do. I think it correlates with uh, not just our, our our sexual desires and the immorality that was happening in the church in Corinth, but it's also, um, it's more than that. It's uh, how we behave, you know, how we think, how we speak, what we let into our bodies, what mm-hmm. we let into our eyes, what we let come out of our mouths. Exactly. You know, sure. all of those things are encompassing of the body. And then now let me ask you guys a question. What do you do whenever you are borrowing something from someone else? When you're borrowing a tool or if it's a piece of exercise equipment, maybe. Yeah. What do you do with that piece of equipment? How do you treat it? I take very good care of it. You I handle to pay it for well. It. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Because if you break it. You buy it. <laughs> you buy it. That's exactly right. And I think the back half of that verse is so important, and we forget that sometimes, that we are bought with a price, yeah. and we're not our own. Yeah. And so, so as we look at taking care of other people's possessions, we look at our bodies in the same way. Man, I love that. As we are not bought. We are bought with a price. That's mm. so good. And so um, mm. I think that's a really good place to start. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Um, so, yeah, and, and our goal with this podcast is, is, is to help um, kind of sway – the mainstream fitness market. Uh, so the mainstream fitness marketing is, is, is coming at our insecurities. It's coming at us in a way that makes us feel ashamed of our bodies, Mm. ashamed of what we've done, ashamed of what we ate. And so they, they say, Hey, you ate like crap over the weekend. You need to go in on Monday and punish yourself. And so that's, I I do not believe that that's the way Jesus Mm. wants to approach, uh, physical, um, fitness. And so, uh, that's just kind of some things that I really want to tackle and, and put out a good message. That's not out there right now. There's not very many sp- people speaking on exercising and improving your health and nutrition in a way to glorify God and make you a better vessel on this earth. Um, so that's what we're here for. Yeah. That's exciting stuff. And I'm glad that your, your passion kind of leaked out on the, uh, you know, on our, uh, group. And so I'm glad that we're, we're able to get this going. Absolutely. So, all right. Um, so here's what I want to ask now as we're going through this transition. Um, we were talking about doing um, ma- being a vessel, okay, mm-hmm. and a temple. And I think that God uses those words to illustrate that our bodies are something more important than just a home. Yeah. Because yeah. the word, you know, as you look at the word temple in that passage of scripture that we just talked about, it is, it's got to be. There's a reason that he used temple instead of just house or residence or right. a place to stay. It's a temple, right. and it's it sets it apart from something else that that it can't be. Um, and so, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about that? Just really quickly, as we get out of, on this first episode. Man, I, I just that excites me. That makes uh, I mean, it's I I love that you're already dropping these 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 bombs because uh, I I love the way pastors are able to put things in in perspective and and use those analogies and metaphors and so I mean mm-hmm. when I think of it as a temple that means I really really have to take care of it you know yeah, yeah there's like a level of of importance uh, there but but further than that it's to me I almost get this sense of like respect to be given mm-hmm. right yeah. towards yeah. it. And I think, like, especially coming from myself and looking at my own journey, I spent so long talking about my body as a temple. I spent so long treating that temple like absolute trash. Yeah. So bad. Same. And, uh, and obviously reap the consequences of that. And, uh, and I'm walking through the process of correcting it, mm-hmm. uh, obviously, and, and doing better in, in regards to treating that temple better. Uh, but there, there is so much, it stands to so much to be seen 
Um, you mean you look in the world around us and this idea of, of treating our temple in in what seems to be a negative way yeah. j- it just runs rampant. It's everywhere. Right. And the progressive overload idea is what we all end up using in our workouts. It's what we end up doing in our spiritual lives and in yeah. our walk. And um, so we're excited to share that with you as listeners. And um, so we're going to get out on this first episode. Yep. And uh, we're glad that you join us. We hope that you get to know us a little bit better as we go through the next few episodes. Sure. So is, you guys have anything to add before we jump out? Yeah, well, uh, just real fast. Uh, we are on uh, social medias, so make sure that you go to our pages and follow us We're on Facebook. Just search for Progressive Overload Podcast. And on Instagram, the handle is uh, Progressive Overload Pod. Um, w- we plan on posting a lot of our individual journeys there. And uh, just so you can kind of get, get a good look of our day-to-day lives. Um, and then also it's our goal to create a, a group, a group mm-hmm. of people, a group of followers that, that we can be there for and just, uh, you know, create a ministry out of this, honestly. Yeah. Be sure to find us on those social media platforms. Uh, we would love to be able to connect with you as individuals. And like Joe said, just to build that community to be able to support one another. Uh, that's that's kind of the, the end goal, I think, of what we want to do. But in order to learn more about us as individuals, hopefully we'll be able to share more about ourselves as we go through these episodes and in in future content, you'll be able to hear more of our stories and kind of what we've been through and where we've gone uh, in our progressive overload journeys. Exactly. Uh, But don't be afraid to start yours. You know, we're a little bit past the new year and I think that's a topic we're going to be hitting on here soon, but uh, don't let the missed opportunity of a fresh start 